join in. Glory, glory, Out of all his troubles, 
the angel of the Lord and kept around about them that feared him and delivered them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. Oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints. But there is no one to them that fear him. I read you verses 1 through 9, the 34th number of the book of Psalms. May God bless the reader, listen to it for his only divine word. The psalms say, I know I am a child of God. Mm -hmm. Although I move so slow. Come on, come on. He said, but I'm going to wait, wait until the Spirit comes. Yes, yes. And move at God's command. Yes. So this morning, I come just humble as I know how. Yes, 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 Lord. I come because you are my father. Yes, yes. yes. And you told me whatever I need to, all I have to do is call on you. Yes. So I come this morning yes. with a call in time. Yes. Because I know if I call on you, pray right, you hear me. Yes. Yes. Because you said yeah, yeah. you would heal us. Yes. You will come and see about us. Yes. yes. So whatever we stand in need this morning, all we have to give it to you. Yes, yes. Lord. Because you just come to God. That's right. Yes. I come this morning because you have been good to me. Yes, amen, amen. Not only me. All right. You have brought me through ups and downs, trying and tribulations. Yes, yes. yes. Every once in a while, I have to look back. Yes, See just how far you brought me. Yes, yes. You brought me some good news the other day. Yes. And I feel like I want a testimony and say thank you. Thank you. Because it hadn't been for you, what would I be? Yes, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. You know, you, you're good for me every day. Yes. Why? Because you lay me down at night when this old body get tired. Yes, yes. You let me slum and sleep all night long. Yes. I don't even know where I'll be at, but you come and take care of me. Yes, yes. Why I slum and sleep, you little death angel. Me all night long. Yes, yes, yes. And the reason I know you let old death angel pass me by, right. because earlier this morning you stooped down and you touched me with a finger of divine love in my eyes. Yes, yes, yes. Until a brand new day. Yes. And I said, thank you. Thank you. I said, thank you. Thank you. And as I got up, I realized that I had strength in this old body. Yes, yes. I was yes. able to move, walk, stand. But I then I had a mouth to say thank you. Thank you. And I looked up to wall heaven and I give you praise and all of you say, get up. Yes. Take care of yourself. Watch your face. Yes. Break your teeth. Yes. Put some clothes on. Thank yes. you. I did all that. And then I had my mind on the house of prayer. Yes. You gave me a tribe and grace to come here. Yes. And then when I come in the door, I see my sister and brother. And I remember you said what two or three are gathering. Yeah. And you were in the midst. Yes. Yes. So I said, thank you. Thank you. Yes. Because you're a good God. Yes. Not only to me, but to everyone. Yes. And every once in a while, we ought to just say, thank you. Thank you. Because you brought us. Yes. And as we come out today, we're going to live for that holy name. We're going to give you the highest praise. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. yes. Amen. And as yes. we come, Hallelujah. when our pastor get up and preach that word, yes, yes. put him deep that he will bring a word to someone. Yes. Someone will come around. What I have to do is be saved. Yes, oh, yes. Yes. That this word will take us all week long. Yes. Because that's what his job is to preach the word. And we say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We pray for each and other. Pray for his family too. Bless him. Yes. yes. We pray for each and every member. We ask you to bless them. Yes. Keep them whatever they are going through. Yes. Pray for those that sit shut in the hospital room. Yes. Nice and home. Yes. Pray for bereaved family, those that are going through bereaved. Yes. Now we know you said weeping and do it for a night. Yes. But yes. Joy, joy will come in the morning. Yes. So we come, Father. Just say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We come because we realize that this day we call Father Day. But so many fathers gone. 
My father been gone a long, long time. But I got a heavenly father I can call on yes. every day. Yes. Yes. He's been watching over me, taking care of me. Yes. And I said, thank you. Thank you. We pray for our country. Yes. We pray for those incarcerated in jail. Yes, yes, yes. You know, every once in a while, we ought to just think about how good you've been to us. Where you brought us from. We didn't get here on our own. You got to realize so many were with us. They are going on. But we still hear about the grace. And your grace is taking on each and every day. And we ought to say thank you. Thank you. Because you've been good to us. You bless our church family. Bless each and every day. Keep us. Bless our country. All these blessings I ask in that son, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Good morning, New Bethel. Good morning. Good morning, New Bethel. Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Is there anybody glad to be here this morning?
say this while we are getting this passage together. Time is too short for us not to be speaking to people, loving on people. You don't never know. You don't never, never know. Psalms 103. David said, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. In case you didn't hear him the first time, he said, Bless the Lord. Yes. Oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy, Sister Williams, thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowned thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfied thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. If you don't mind for a moment this morning, I just want to talk to you about what a father. What a father. Somebody said, what a father. Father, we thank you. We bless you, God. We give you honor and glory. We magnify your wonderful name. God, we ask today, Lord, that you would stand in the gap. We need your strength, your preaching power, your anointing, God. God, the only way we can get through this is if you show up. And show out. And so, God, it is that we pray and we accept thine will today that we may leave different than how we came. In Jesus' name. Amen. What a father. Can I just tell you about my dad? Yes, sir. The Bible gives us a picture of what a father looks like. So space more. The Bible says his ways are perfect. Anybody know when you were growing up, your daddy, he was perfect in your sight. Okay, let me just make it personal. To me, my daddy couldn't do no wrong. The Bible says his ways are perfect and he is faithful. And he does not do any wrong. The Bible said he is upright and just. Psalms 10 and 17 lets us know, says from everlasting to everlasting, the Lord's love is with those who fear him. Amen. So let me tell you about my father. Let me tell you about his patience and his kindness. They never run out. That's right. Amen. Anybody in the room today? Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about my heavenly father. That's right. yeah. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. David says, bless the Lord. Yeah. Oh, my soul. Yeah. And all that is within me, yeah. bless his holy name. Yeah. Then he says in verse 2, bless the Lord. Can I, help, can I just help somebody in the room today? God is the same yesterday. 
of God. It's not have some help in there. We, we take God's blessing for granted. It's not. That was somebody that when God got you up this morning, you, you didn't even tell God thank you. It's not have some help. Uh, he 
another. The second thing I see is he is a redeeming father. That's how in verse 4 of the 8 part said, who redeemed thy life from destruction. Uh, John 3, 16 and 17 lets us know that he is a redeeming father. For example, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. But then it goes on in verse 17 and said, For so loved the world, but for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him may be saved. It's Job 19.25 said, For I know that my redeemer liveth, and he shall stand at the latter days upon the earth. That's why I came to tell you that Psalms 107 and 2 is so important to the redeemed in the house. Because it says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so, who is redeemed from the hand of the enemy. And if you know God is a redeemer, then you ought to open up your mouth and tell the Lord, thank you this morning, because he saved you from a pit of, pit of hell. So the first point is, he's a forgiving father. The next point is, he's a redeeming father. So she came to, the third point I got is, he is a compassionate father. Because he said in verse, verse 4, the be part, who crowned thee with love and kindness and tender mercy. The songwriter was right when he says, great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness.
He satisfies the long soul and the hungry soul. He fills with good things. The Bible said, blessed are they that do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. My fifth point this morning is he is a righteous father. There it is in verse number six. It says the Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. I need you to get this. Don't miss this. Righteousness is one of the chief attributes of God. Can I just part right there and tell you something that if righteousness is a part of God's character and we're supposed to be his children, then righteousness ought to be a part of us. Don't get quiet on me this morning. Second Corinthians 5 and 21 said, God made him who had had not sinned to be sin for us. That in him we might become the righteousness of God. Any righteous people in the room? You all open up your mouth and tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you because it was not my own righteousness. So Psalms 11 and 7 said, for the Lord he is righteous. His love is justice. Upright men will see his face. Can I tell you something today? If he is righteous, then you got to be righteous. Because that's the only way you're going to see his face. And so Proverbs 14 and 34 said, Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any person. We were just studying yesterday how the people of Israel had been put in bondage to the days. And the Bible lets us know our story about yesterday. Talked about being prosperity. Talking about being a prosperous people. Can I tell you something? The way God exalts us is through his righteousness. If you're ever going to be blessed, you got to live the life that you study in the word. God ought to be on display in your life. That's why the Bible said, let your life so shine that men may feel good works and glorify your father which is in heaven.
wait to pay your assessments on the 24th, feel free to start paying your assessments at any time. I also like to have double triple stand. What you putting the church finger up for? <laughs> Since the Deborah Triplett is the co-chairperson of the second 70th year church anniversary, and I'd like to thank her right now, and also uh, we may be coming to you to ask you individually to participate, and we are expecting a yes answer. To those who have already said yes, i just like to say I thank you and I love you in the name of Jesus. We look forward to seeing you here at the celebration on July 24th. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning. Sister Cheryl has already given you the information on our church's anniversary, so I'm just going to remind you that, before I do that, Happy Father's Day to all of our fathers. Amen. Amen. And Happy Juneteenth. Amen. 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 Because Juneteenth is a big celebration for us black people. But many of us did not know anything about Juneteenth until here lately. But if you are from the South, you knew about Juneteenth. Amen? So, Happy Father's Day and a Happy Juneteenth Day. Now, on Saturday, this is next Saturday, <clears throat> June 25th, mark your calendars. Women's Fellowship will meet at 11.15 a.m. You said you had been missing the fellowship with all of your fellow women of New Bethel. So on Saturday, June 25th, you can renew that fellowship at 11.15. And remember to bring your mug. Amen? Amen. And as always, we would like to remember all of our sick and our shut-in members, Sister Cassandra Jones, Sister Jackie Spears, Sister Johnny Martin, Sister Linda Watkins, Sister Juanita Walker, Sister Mary Banks, Sister Gladys Henderson, Sister Mary Parts Madison, Sister Noreen Richardson, Sister Antoinette Cole, Minister Raph Basemore, Reverend Michael Hedden and Brother Herbert Burnett. Those are all of our sick and shut in, and if you notice, the list keeps getting longer. So please, please pray for all of our sick and shut in during your prayer time. Amen. Thank you, and have a blessed week. this Friday, uh, food drive, amen, amen. amen. I'm asking all who are available to meet us here on Friday to help pass out uh, lunches to those less fortunate, amen, amen. 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 Talked about the fact that we were reconciled. And God has placed us in the ministry of reconciliation, which means that we are in ministry to do ministry work. Amen, somebody. That is a part of ministry work. Amen. The last thing you want to do is get to heaven and find out that some of the blessings that you could have had, you vacated because you weren't willing to do ministry. If you are available, I will be here. Lord said the same. At the creek on rise this Saturday. I will be here. And I'm asking for all members, amen, to be here. 
so that we can make this a success. Amen. 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 Nothing like giving new battle some good exposure. Amen. Amen. You hear enough negative about church and church folk. Let's break the narrative and make them write a different story. Amen. 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 Come on, let's get ready. Go get your gift in your hand. Let's remember all of our signature. The list that Sister Kane called out. And ones that we know that may not even be on the list. Amen. Let's remember them in prayer. And let me say this. Uh, those that may be streaming live. I know you at home comfortable. You had your coffee. You had your, your toast. Amen. There's some things that we still need here at the house of God. Amen. The Bible said that he said that righteousness exalt a nation. That means his righteousness lifts us. God has done all the work. And now it's time for us to show our appreciation for what God has done for us. God has been blessing us. In a season where people don't understand how you still have what you got. It's because of the day you had. Your talents, your talents, and your time. Which I had some hit right there. So we're asking everyone, amen, to step out on faith. He says that he gives seed to the soul. He blesses a cheerful giver. You can't be God's giver. No matter how you try. Father, we bless you today. We honor you, God, in this place. Father, we thank you for your word this morning. Thank you, God, for your great attributes that you have. Thank you, God, that you are a righteous God. You are a just God. God, we thank you this morning. For we realize, God, it's because of your righteousness that we're still here today. God, we thank you that you are one that knows how to bless us abundantly. Yeah. You bless us not only just financially, but you bless us with good health, good jobs, good homes, good families and friends. You're the type of God that just keeps on blessing us. Every time we turn around, you just keep on blessing us. And so today, God, we just want to tell you thank you. Jesus name that we declare decree and the church said amen, amen. 